welcome to another episode of Chad and Family and Dogs Beer Reviews. I'm here with my brother John in his apartment in Queens. Hi. And we're drinking a hometown beer from our hometown, Saratoga IPA. As you can see on the label there, it has the, the horse racing, because Saratoga is going for the horse race track. Um, I've never had this beer before. I believe this is brewed by Mendocino that makes... They make a whole bunch of like these hawk themed beers. So I don't know. I don't know anything about this beer. I just it's an IPA, which is my favorite style of beer, so I'm hoping this is gonna be good. So uh you wanna get cracking? Sorry we don't have a table. Ooh, we got some nice smoke there. I'm using a Guinness. Tulip glass. Should be okay for this kind of beer. Got a pretty nice head there. As you can see, it's like a like an amber orange color. A lot of carbonation. Here's having a lot. Yeah. Head like one finger, like off white, kind of foamy. What do you, what does it smell like? Yeah. Very almost a little orangey. Yeah, a little little orange citrus. It's almost it has like that thick, like almost kind of like syrupy quality, like it almost smells sugary. Yeah, a little bit. Alright, so you wanna dive in? Yeah. Cheers. That's pretty good. The bottle, I forgot to read the description, but they make a point of saying this is this is a handcrafted traditional West Coast IPA with a perfect balance of malt blended with Cascade and Fuggles hops. We hope you will enjoy this full body, nicely hopped India Pale Ale. Yeah, I was uh, noticing that uh, this is a very West Coast style. Um, last night, John and I went to a beer bar and they had uh, Haze and Infuse, which is made out in Colorado, and it's that that West Coast style IPA. It's like very, very, very bitter and almost kind of dry. It's got a little bit of a bitter taste. I say it kind of tastes a little bit like Magic Cat number nine. No, well that's a. I think it's more like Magic Cat Lucky Cat as an IPA. No, I've never heard that one. Um, yeah, it's like it is kind of. It's more piney. It's almost kind of like that pine kind of taste. Very dry and bitter, and, that, and that's typical of a West Coast IPA. You get that nice hot body in the end there, coming back in. Yeah. Pretty refreshing, I'd say. How would you describe, like, the drinkability of this? Do you think it's pretty easy for you to drink? Or, um... It's maybe just a little bit too bitter. Yeah. If it's, it was just a tad less bitter, it'd be very easy to drink. Yeah. It's yeah. It's because of these West Coast IPAs, they kind of they tend to have this dry, very very hoppy, very bitter back end to them. It's like it's almost you want to take a drink of water. Yeah. Yeah. I you know I prefer something because this is like there's IPAs to me kind of fall in two general categories like they're either very Piney or the very floral, and I prefer the floral ones, which is like your East Coast style. So that's that's pretty interesting that this Saratoga one is uh, is a, they made a point of saying it's a West Coast style. I guess this is made by Mendocino because Mendocino is a brewery out of I think out of California, but they also contract brew out of Saratoga. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, it's not, uh, you know, knocking my socks off or anything, but I think it's, I think it's very drinkable. You know, a lot of these, these IPAs, these very bitter beers, they, you'd think that they'd be hard beers to drink, but they're not. It's actually, I think, it, I'd say it goes down pretty smooth. What do you think? It's got a bit of a funky aftertaste. Yeah. It's yeah, it's kind of traditional in that, yeah. Yeah, it's very bitter. Pretty, pretty dry. 
Um, I'd probably give this a, a seven, 7 out of 10. Yeah, what do you think? That's probably about what I would give this yeah. one. Like, it's good, it's not great, and it's definitely not bad. No. no. Yeah, so it's like a 7 is like a nice, solid performer, good beer, yeah. Uh, it does have a lot of flavor, though. You know, but it is it is very bitter. I don't think this is a starter IPA. I think this is more of a intermediate IPA. Mm -hmm. Beer drinker that's not familiar with the style. I don't think you'd want to start with this, but for an intermediate IPA, it's pretty good. It's nice and refreshing on a hot day like this. I don't know if you can tell. I'm maybe just sweating to death here. So. I guess that about wraps it up. Do you have anything else that you want to add? What do you think, Ethan? Uh, I don't get the same opinion. Yeah, I'd give this about 7 out of 10. It's not bad, but it's not great either. Yeah. Great minds think alike. <laughs> Maybe it's just genetic. Maybe we're predisposed to liking these kind of beers because I had, I had an IPA with my mom and dad and they both liked them. So, I'd be bitter. Bitterness is a genetic trait we have or something. Nice. Well, that wraps it up for this video. That was a pretty quick one. So, uh, thanks to John for doing this video with me. Mm -hmm. Again, that was Saratoga IPA. Made in Saratoga Springs, New York. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.